You've had slow internet and you may not even realize it. And no, I'm not talking about how many megabits per second your download speed is. I'm talking about the speed of your ISP's DNS server. But what is a DNS server? DNS stands for Domain Name System, and a DNS server is essentially a giant database of records like a phone book. It contains IP addresses that correspond with domain names. You see, every network relies on a DNS server to look up domain names and find the appropriate web server associated with the website so it can download the files. Your ISP has its own default DNS server, and unsurprisingly, it's usually pretty slow. A sluggish DNS server can result in a longer delay before your device can even start downloading files from the web server. I noticed a significant improvement when I switched from my ISP's default DNS server to a third-party option. It was noticeably snappier. So the biggest benefit to changing your DNS server is speed, and 1.1.1.1 and NextDNS are two standout options that offer additional features. 1.1.1.1 is the DNS server offered by Cloudflare. It relies on Cloudflare's robust server network to get you DNS records as fast as possible. NextDNS is the new kid on the block, founded in 2019. They're reimagining DNS, offering a customizable DNS server for consumers. This means you can fine tune your personal DNS experience to block specific websites and content categories. This type of fine tuning was previously only available with enterprise DNS solutions, but NextDNS is making making it accessible to the masses. Both 1.1.1.1 and NextDNS offer free versions with additional features for a subscription fee, so I wanted to see which one is the best DNS server and if either are worth paying for. When it comes to speed, there's no denying that 1.1.1.1 is the fastest DNS server around. Cloudflare has a massive global server network, and this means that there's always going to be a server geographically close to you no matter where you are. Cloudflare has servers where I'm located in Nashville, and they even have a data center in Hawaii. According to dnsperf.com, 1.1.1.1 is consistently tied with DNS filter as the fastest public DNS resolver in the world. By comparison, NextDNS is definitely slower than 1.1.1.1. This is because it's a customizable firewall, and whenever content filtering is involved, server responses are always going to take longer. It's also impossible for them to compete with Cloudflare's massive server infrastructure, and as a result, DNS queries at NextDNS do take longer. Something that doesn't take long is hitting that subscribe button. It's totally free, and clicking subscribe and hitting that bell means you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. 1.1.1.1 on its own does offer marginal security benefits over your ISP's default DNS server. They do offer a family version, and you can pick from IP addresses that have malware blocking only, or malware and adult content blocking together. The stock version of 1.1.1.1 will offer privacy benefits since you're routing your DNS traffic through Cloudflare instead of your ISP servers, but the real security benefits come with the optional Warp desktop client. Cloudflare Warp encrypts your browsing activity and routes all of your traffic through Cloudflare servers to find the fastest path to the destination server. It also hides your browsing activity from your ISP. If this sounds like a VPN, it's a similar concept, but it's technically not a VPN. Your network IP address will be visible to the destination website if they're using the Cloudflare network, and it also doesn't obfuscate your location. It's important to note that you can't choose to browse from a specific server location, so Warp is not going to help you with unblocking content. It's estimated that Cloudflare's network is active on over 30 million websites, so I would not count on Cloudflare Warp to hide your location or IP address from the destination website. However, Warp does hide your browsing activity from your ISP in the same exact way a VPN would. Warp is available for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, and it's free to use. There is an optional Warp Plus subscription for $4.99 a month, but there's not much information out there on what this actually does. It says it offers optimized, faster internet paths, so theoretically it's going to be even faster than Warp, but there's not much data to support this or technical information on how it's actually better than Warp. And even still, you have to download the free app and get started with it before you can even find where you subscribe to Warp Plus, so it seems like they're kind of burying it. Warp certainly offers speed and privacy benefits, but not so much in the way of security. With NextDNS, the value is in the customizable firewall. You can also block specific TLDs from loading, and this is actually what got me interested in NextDNS initially. I'm blocking the new .zip and .mov TLDs because I think these both can be extremely harmful for a number of different reasons. Now, if someone were to reference example.zip in an email, the email client
client might actually display it as a hyperlink because it's a valid TLD. And if someone clicks example.zip thinking they're accessing the attachment in the email, their computer might actually load the website example.zip in their browser. This website might have a malicious zip file hosted on it. This has already happened with .zip domains. Being able to block these TLDs entirely in NextDNS is a pretty powerful security feature. You can also choose to block all newly registered domains that were created in the last 30 days. This might be a good idea, as bad actors will typically launch malicious campaigns on brand new domains. This is because they need a clean URL that hasn't been reported by anyone as malicious yet, so everybody's browser loads the domain and doesn't suspect that it might be a scam. And for all of you who do web development, don't worry, you can whitelist specific domain names to make sure you can access all your new domains when working on a project. I will say that I've run into a few issues with the next DNS threat intelligence feeds blocking URLs that I know are definitely not malicious, and this is not too much of a problem because I can just go in and whitelist that specific domain, but it can be quite irritating because I've noticed when you whitelist a new domain, it typically takes a few hours to take effect. So if I'm just trying to visit a website and I know it's not malicious, I'm just waiting hours and having to go back to it later, it's kind of a pain. NextDNS does allow you to block ads and trackers, and this applies to every device on the network if you're using NextDNS on your router. So the added security features and customizability of NextDNS may make it seem like the obvious winner here. But let's not forget that NextDNS is a fair bit slower than 1.1.1.1 due to the extra firewall features. Also, NextDNS only allows 300,000 queries a month in the free version. After that, you'll have to pay $2 a month for unlimited queries. 300,000 may sound like a huge number, but I've consistently run out of free queries each month about 10 days into the month. So it's not really a feasible set it and forget it free solution. If you do run out of queries and choose to remain on the free version, NextDNS will simply function like a normal DNS server without any of the content filtering or extra firewall features. So NextDNS is going to cost you if you want to take advantage of the unique features. But as I've said before, if you're not paying for something with your money, you're likely paying for it with your data. I actually like the idea of paying for a DNS server because I know that server is not taking my browsing data and just selling it to a bunch of companies. So is 1.1.1.1 or next DNS right for you? Well, it really depends on which features you prioritize most. If you're just looking to speed up your internet connection and get away from your ISP's provided DNS servers, you can't go wrong with 1.1.1.1. You can also use Warp if you want the extra privacy so your ISP doesn't see your browsing activity. Just keep in mind that it's not a free VPN. It doesn't have all of the same advantages and protections of a VPN. And if you want a highly customizable firewall that happens to function through a DNS service, next DNS is for you. Personally, I've enjoyed that granular control of getting to block categories of websites, specific TLDs, and newly registered domains, and I think the subscription fee is reasonable for what you're getting. I have a lot of added peace of mind with the security features and knowing that my data is not being sold off and used for something else. Once you're using a third-party DNS server, your Wi-Fi should feel noticeably snappier, but there's still some things you can do to improve your Wi-Fi speed. I've got an entire video of my top tips and tricks you can check out here.